and you cannot get near the water. It's like 80 to 100 degrees. It's gonna burn your skin off. In this video, I am taking you to Sky Lagoon, Snæfellsnes Peninsula, and the Golden Circle Tour in Iceland. Let's start. How eerie this place looks. So windy! Iceland is full of beautiful surprises like these. Sky Lagoon is pure bliss. Hello, hello from Iceland. I'm so excited to be back here exactly after six years. Well, exactly because I came here for my birthday before as well. And this is a super amazing place. And honestly, you get to see that even before you land. The landscape is completely crazy. It's like nothing else. Beautiful black sand beaches, mountains black with like dotted beautiful white snow. The flight is really beautiful. The only difference I noticed is that um, it was a lot more snowy last time I came, so I guess that's because of the global warming or because we are a bit more lucky with the weather. It's not as cold. So we're getting our car, by the way, this is the first tip. Book everything well in advance, as early as you can, because things get really expensive in Iceland. It is a very expensive country. But well, time to get the car and let me show you where we're staying then. Since it's four of us, we rented a flat through Airbnb close to the Reykjavik city center. It worked perfectly for us. So I'm gonna get some rest and see you tomorrow morning. Kothan and Diane, it's our first proper day in Iceland. Uh, look at that. This place is seriously gorgeous. So we're going to do the Golden Circle today and we're going all the way to Gullfoss and then making our way back. Let's see what we find there. So, so far, um, Carmen's driving <laughs> and I'm really happy about that. Uh, the roads are actually not bad at all. They're in actually really good condition, but you have to be really careful, especially when you're switching between the normal road and the gravel road and obviously for the wet and the ice as well. We're not doing the carrot crater because there's not much to do there in winter and the roads, the scenery is really gorgeous. Let me show you. Before we go though, I want to introduce you to my friends. This is Milia de Leon. She is an amazing singer. So I will put her YouTube down. You can check her music. She is good, I promise you. I've been to her gigs. This is Sifat and this is Carmen who is going to be driving with me, mostly. <laughs> okay, we're on the way now. It is a cloudy day today, but it's not very cold, which I'm really happy about. So things change very quickly in Iceland. One moment it's a nice clear road, the next moment there's a lot of haze, fog and rain. So come prepared mentally and you will be fine. The roads are really good. Welcome to Gofoss. We just got here, had some quick lunch and it's time to go check out this beautiful waterfall. Honestly, you hear it roaring before you see it and it is something. Let me show you. Gullfoss is the largest volume waterfall in all of Europe and actually it's two waterfalls. The first one with a drop of 11 meters and the second one with a drop of 21 meters. So we just finished with the Gullfoss and we're going to guess here next and it is only 10 kilometers from here. <laughs> And you see us all laughing. Um, that's just gonna stop in a minute when I start driving. So let's go check that out. <laughs> the drive from Gullfoss to Gesir is quite nice and there's a beautiful river with a small bridge on top of it. I really love that spot. We just got here and look how eerie this place looks. 
and you cannot get near the water. It's like 80 to 100 degrees. It's gonna burn your skin off, seriously. Be very, very careful. The biggest geyser erupts every five to 10 minutes, so you don't have to wait very long. Let's go check it out first. If you like to travel deeper, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can bring you some more amazing travel destinations like this. We walked around a little bit to explore the scenery and it is really beautiful here, but it's time to head to our next stop. We were on our way to Reykjavik when we spotted this beautiful place and we're stopping here for a few minutes. Iceland is full of beautiful surprises like these, seriously. So this is Tingvile Park. I'm going to write all the names down. Icelandic is not an easy language and I'm pretty sure I am mucking up the pronunciation. So there's a waterfall you can go about three and a half kilometers in but we don't have enough time because we're losing the light and also we have another little surprise. So let's go check this place out and then I will meet you in Reykjavik. Honestly, I could spend the whole evening here and not get bored. Black sand beaches are my personal favorite. But we have an appointment to meet and for that we are heading to Reykjavik. It's time for our first lagoon. Welcome to the Sky Lagoon! We arrived in the reception area and were greeted by the staff. So we booked the basic package in advance, so it worked really well for us. We were shown the changing rooms, took a nice quick shower and it is time to explore this beautiful place. I chose Sky Lagoon because it is close to the city center and also the infinity pool there maximizes our chances of seeing northern lights. Fingers crossed we see them tonight. It is quite a big place and also has a bar but my favorite part was the thermal waterfall which was absolutely incredible. We stuck around until it was absolutely time to close because the water was really beautiful. No northern light sadly, but we are relaxed. So I'm gonna get some sleep and see you tomorrow morning. So we have another big day today and the weather doesn't look any better, but we're gonna go anyway. And it's called Slave Snaefelsnes. It's a national park and we hope to see some beautiful waterfalls and a volcanic crater. That's the highlight of today. So let's get going. The drive time from Reykjavik to Snaefelsnes Peninsula is roughly an hour 45 minutes, but obviously we're gonna make a few stops along the way. You gotta love how landscape changes so quickly in Iceland. There's a little um, river turned into a little waterfall. We're just making a quick stop here. Let's go check it out. It is really windy though, so yeah, extra protection. Let's go. So we're just getting to our first stop and the sun has come out. It looks really nice and if we are lucky we get to see some... I won't tell you. Let's go check it out. Our first stop on Snaefelsnes Peninsula is Yatri Tunga Beach where I got to meet my first seals. Well, not just one or two of them but so many of them and so up close. It was an absolutely heartwarming, amazing experience. The beach looks gorgeous in this golden light and I know it's going to be an amazing day. By the way, when you enter the beach, there is a whale carcass. Don't miss it. Aren't they adorable? Well, off we go to the next stop and it looks like it's going to be quite windy there as well. Let's see what we see. 
Our next stop is the perfection of Iceland drama, Islandrangur. And these steep cliffs are so dramatic and so beautiful. And they have these amazing fields right behind them. And according to the local farmers, no one makes use of it because the elves live there. The elves must be much better prepared than us for all this wind. So we took all the views in, saw tons of these beautiful birds which nest in these steep cliffs. And when we had enough of it, we are moving to our next stop. It is so windy outside, honestly. I would take a little bit of cloud and give away some of this wind because it's really, really strong. We are at Saxol Crater and we are going to climb it. Let's go! Saxol actually has two craters, but we climbed the first one close to the road. Now it is only 100 meters and there are stairs to go up. There's not much to see from above when it comes to the crater itself, but the views of Atlantic and the lava dried fields around is absolutely stunning. The problem here is the wind again, unfortunately. We are heading to our next stop, which is going to be lost, but the drive between these two places is phenomenal. The scale of the entire Snæfellsnes Peninsula is visible through this drive and the golden light is the most amazing part. We just got to our last stop for the day. Well, that's the plan because we keep seeing places and we keep stopping. They're just so beautiful. But this place is gorgeous, even though it's crazy windy still. Um, yeah, sadly, I can't show you anything from my drone here because the poor thing just almost crashed so i'm a little scared for him and yeah i'm gonna save him let's go check it out we are at kirkjufels foss and kirkjufel mountain the stars of snaifelsnes peninsula it is one of the most photographed spots in all of iceland but the locals also call it the killer mountain because of the number of people who've died trying to climb this mountain the mountain and the river both are absolutely stunning. The waterfall has two drops and it divides and subdivides before falling into the river. <laughs> All right, we're heading back to Reykjavik because yeah, wow, so windy. And we don't wanna get late because we need to get there for a restaurant booking. This is the best part about Iceland. Things never get boring here. The landscape changes so quickly. Our last drive for today is about two hour, 20 minutes and Carmen and I will be switching between drives. So we also got the golden hour today, which is absolutely mesmerizing. I mean, just look at that. One more thing, you must check the official website. I'll put the link below for the road conditions. And if they're closed, please do not attempt because it is really dangerous. We're gonna get to Reykjavik, get some rest, and tomorrow we are heading to the famous Blue Lagoon. Good morning. After a lazy morning, we are heading to the Blue Lagoon for an amazing day of relaxation. It's only a 40 minutes drive, so we are just here. Let's go check it out. We made our booking in advance and I would highly recommend you do that as well. Once we got in, we got our bracelet, which tracks your spending around the bar, etc., and also controls the locker. On that note, I'm gonna be honest, the changing room was quite disgusting and I had a quick shower and then I headed out but then I saw like a ton of slippers everywhere before getting out which also put a damper on the mood. I used the steam room and then the sauna which were fairly cold and then took a nice shower before heading into the lagoon. The water instantly feels amazing. I floated around a bit before we headed over to get our masks. So two of these are included in the price of your package. We spent the rest of our afternoon chilling and soaking and just enjoying our well-earned relaxation day. Here's my two cents about the place. It is really crowded, there are queues everywhere and the hygiene standards have lapsed. For this price tag, I expected a lot better and I would highly recommend checking out some other lagoons. You will see another beautiful one in part two. 
now that we're really relaxed and chilled we are going to our northern lights tour the forecast looks really good fingers crossed we get to see some today we got picked up around 8 p.m and drove around till 1 a.m unfortunately there was a lot of cloud cover and we couldn't see much and we were disappointed but a good thing a lot of companies offer here is that you can try again if you don't see the northern lights so we will try again this is the end of our iceland vlog part one for part two click on the link above next time we will see some beautiful black sand beaches some more waterfalls glaciers and a ton more and obviously you'll get to know if we actually got to see some northern lights <laughs>